A presentation given to Kentucky State Police cadets contained quotes from Adolf Hitler encouraging the cadets to use violence, according to a Louisville High School newspaper, the manual read I, while calling for the future police officers to have a mindset void of emotion, in order to meet violence with greater violence. Kentucky Governor Andy Beshear D. responded to the report by saying, This is absolutely unacceptable. It is further unacceptable that I just learned about this through social media. We will collect all the facts and take immediate corrective action. The quotes are used for their content and relevance to the topic addressed in the presentation, Kentucky State Police spokesman Lt. Joshua Lawson told the manual Red Eye. The presentation touches on several aspects of service, selflessness, and moral guidance. All of these topics go to the fundamentals of law enforcement such as treating everyone equally, service to the public, and being guided by the law. The presentation came to light as part of the discovery phase of a lawsuit around the 2018 death of Bradley J. Grant, who was shot and killed by Kentucky State Police. The information was then shared with the student publication Manual Red Eye. The presentation also quotes historical figures like Benjamin Franklin and Albert Einstein, but it relies much more so on Hitler and concludes with a slide showing the raising of the American flag at Iwo Jima below the German phrase, Uber Alice, which translates to, above all. The existence of Nazi and Confederate quotes in a police presentation furthers the concerns about deeply ingrained systemic racism in American law enforcement. Kentucky is the site of one of the most poignant examples of the nation's current racial reckoning when it comes to law enforcement. The state is where Breonna Taylor, an unarmed black woman, was killed when police shot her at least eight times after breaking into her home in March. KSP training slideshow quotes Hitler, advocates, ruthless, violence, manual red eye, Louisville police officer shot by boyfriend of Breonna Taylor sues him for emotional distress, Forbes.